joining this live stream. I want to especially welcome you. I want to welcome everyone watching right now. Wherever you're watching from, I just want you to know that we are excited that you're here. It's 7 p.m. Nigerian time and my name is Sylvester. And I'm happy to be your host today. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be here today. Those of you who just joined, please use the comment section. Tell us where you're watching from. What's your name? Tell us where you're watching from. I can see Tolu Lope. She's one of our facilitators. The Duke of Joss is also here on YouTube. Um, Chatman is also here, the right place to be. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you are just joining, just comment. Let us know your name, where you're watching from, and then start sharing this video. Start sharing this video. The breaking news is you are here. And special welcome to you. Please tell us your name, where you are watching from, and also share this video with someone that you think needs needs to see us okay i just got a signal that no one can see me don't worry you'll see my beautiful face very soon <laughs> for now i just need you to share this video subscribe like and let someone know that we're about to start quick 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 all right let me see the comments who do we have here chat one is here Okay, Charis on Noah, you're always with us. You're always with us. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us from Oweri. Thank you, Madam, Madam Charis, for always being with us. Thank you, Mark. You are always here with us. Um, developer, developer Victor is here with us. So, um, without further waste of time, I'm going to show you my beautiful face. Um, I'm going to show you my face for, for first of all, does anybody really want to see my face? Let me see in the comment section. Is there anybody that really cares to know how I look? <laughs> um, yes, I see more Dion Gozi. Thank you so much for working there at the state Agbo. I'm happy to have you here. You're welcome. Christabel. Uh, you're welcome. You're the usher for this event, and I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Watching from the bosom, blessing. All right. So, okay, we're live. We're live on Facebook. We are also live on uh, YouTube. So, I'm going to show you uh, what I look like right now. So, enough of all that. Welcome. So, it's time to get to business. Hello, good evening everyone. My name is Sylvester and I'm excited to be your host this evening. My name is Sylvester and I'm very excited to be your host this evening. We are here to talk about the artificial intelligence revolution. The artificial intelligence revolution, the need for us to know about it. Those who don't know about it should know about it and the need for those who already know about it to share it. So that's why we're here today. We're going to be talking about what is AI doing, and then we're going to be looking at how uh, it is revolutionizing the way 
uh, people work. So I want to say welcome, welcome once again, welcome, welcome once again to um, this live stream. I've introduced myself, but quickly let me give you some ground rules. Uh, this event is currently streaming on YouTube channel at the Digital Librarian, which some of you may be watching right now. This event is also streaming on the Priceless Journals Facebook page, uh, managed by uh, Mrs. Tolu. She's my co-host. And also, we're also streaming on Developer Victor's Facebook page. Developer Victor is uh, also one of the collaborators for this event. And with us here today, we also have the Duke of Jobs, Engineer Charles. He is one of us. He is hosting this event with us. So our event is streaming across board on all these platforms. So what our advice is, you share this event. Immediately you come, you let us know um, what your name is, and then you let us know where you're watching from. Having said that, I would like to quickly do um, a little introduction um, of the people we have here today uh, about this event. This event you are participating in right now is a pre uh, training webinar. So it's a free event. You don't have to pay, but you are going to learn so many things here today. For the next one hour, we don't want to make it a long one. You're going to learn so many things. So for the next one hour, we're going to be uh, sharing with you great insights. Uh, I think I should pull that up on the screen again so that you see what we're going to be doing. We're going to be teaching uh, from the stories of people that you see on the screen right now, they are going to be sharing their stories, how AI has been of assistance to them, what they have achieved with AI, and what you can do with AI, how AI has changed the way they work, how it has brought about their productivity, and all that. They are going to be sharing all that information. And uh, one of the bonuses that you will benefit here today is that uh Ms. Tolu will be sharing practically, showing you the recent AI feature in Canva, how um, what the AI in Canva can do. She will just show you practically how you can do that. And if time permits, if time permits, I personally will show you how to generate images using AI. I hope, is there anybody here that wants to learn how to do that for free? I'm going to show you how to generate AI images. If you are ready to learn about that this evening, just drop a comment that just type, I'm ready. Just type, I'm ready. Yes, just type, I'm ready, and that will be fine. Okay. So having said that, um, I'm going to bring on board uh, Mrs. Tolu. Tolu is not backstage. I would like to bring you up on board right now, Tolu can see you. So if anyone can get to Lou, please help me tell her to join us backstage. However, I want to introduce Yoma, Victor. Victor, good evening. And how are you? Hello, Victor. Okay. Victor seems to be having a network challenge. So I'm going to introduce very quickly others in the stage. So you're welcome, Agogo. You're live. Ah, good evening, sir. Yeah, you're good welcome. Evening, How was the day? It went well. All so right. Good. Okay, so we also have here, we have Debbie Borno. Debbie. Debbie is here, right here with me. Debbie is, uh, oh, first of all, let me introduce Agogo. Ekwekwe Agogo is a teacher, and she's also an entrepreneur. She She's skilled at baking and all sort of small chop items. She's a very creative person, and she will be speaking with us today um, how AI has impacted her work and what she does as a teacher and an entrepreneur. Also, right here, we have Debbie Bonu. Debbie Bonu is a prompt engineer. And she's a generative AI researcher. So it's okay for me to say that she's an AI enthusiast. Debbie Borno, what do you have to say to our viewers? All right. Um, 
I'm really glad to be here. Thank you to the organizers and thank you for all of you that made it out here this evening. Okay. Uh, trust me, you're going to be impacted. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Also, I have backstage here because we, we are starting right away. For anyone that thinks there's going to be any special thing, no, we are starting immediately. So um, I have here Victoria Edozia. Victoria Edozia, can we see you? Oh. <laughs> Your mic is mute. We can't hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. So All right. Just say something to the viewers. Hello, everyone. Good evening, and it's great to be here. My name is Victoria Edozier, and I'm so, so elated to be here this evening. Thank All you right. for having me, sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you hear that her sweet, sweet voice. Victoria is a lady with a mix of many beautiful things. She She's a media personality. She, she specifically is a professional voiceover artist. And she's passionate about teenagers. And uh, I'm glad that Victoria is here with us today. Um, also, we have one more person here with us. And that person, as you can see, her name there says Osha, Christabel. Christabel, a bonus. Tell us, Christabel, a, a word for the viewers, please. Christopher, we can't hear you. Okay, good evening, everyone. How are you? You're welcome to this program. I'm your usher too, so you're very welcome. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you very much. So um, right away, we are going to delve right in. We have, for the next 10 minutes, we want to hear from um, all of you. We want to hear from you, your story. Can you tell us? Can you share with us? Let's start with you, Agogo. Tell us about uh, your experience with artificial intelligence tools, how you got to learn about when was the first time you heard about artificial intelligence tools, and if you started using them and how they have impacted you. Let's hear from you. Over to you, please. Every other person, you can turn off your microphone for now. OK. Good evening, everyone. Um, I want to thank the organizers for this um, opportunity. Okay, so let me just go straight to the point. I think the first time I heard about um, um, the use of AI to, to generate content was on Facebook. I think it was on a Choma um, Aziz page, if I'm not mistaken. So she talked about a uh, chat uh, GPT. And so, well, she didn't really elaborate. And so... I went to the comment session and uh, other persons were asking, is it, is, it, is it an app? Is it a website? They were just different questions. And so I think she responded that it's not an app, it's just a site. And so I went in and I, I registered, went on Google, registered on the site, and that was all. I didn't really know what to do. So I, it was just, I just registered, registered and that was it. So when um, Ms. Tulu, now, um, I think there was a time she, she talked about um, generating content. And so I think she did a program and gave out a book for free. I think that was the first time I downloaded the book. I read, I read the book. And when it was time for her to, to okay, later she did a class. And I joined the class, and that was when I now, you know, understood so many things about AI. Because before now, I just had this uh, little knowledge, just bits and bits of it. There was no, I didn't have a comprehensive knowledge of how to go about it. So with that, um, via that class I attended, I was able to, you know, understand AI to a very large extent. Before now, creating content for my business was a little difficult. Most times, I have an idea in my head. Okay, I want to, I want to um, advertise a product because I'm, a CEO, I'm the CEO of um, Joyce Tidbits. I, made, I make freshly prepared um, snacks, coconut candy, granite cake, and peanuts. So I really needed content to advertise my goods. But I was not, I would just have an idea in my head, but to pen it down into something that will be 
attractive or that will make uh, customers buy became a problem. I used to meet um, a friend of mine who, who loves writing. I would just tell her that this is what I want, this is what I want, and she will be able to, you know, carve out a good um, write-up for me to an to a large extent. Most times I, I end up using our content to market my products. But after attending uh, the class Mrs. Uh, uh, Tolu did, I was able to, I was able to, um, start generating good content for my business because I got to understand the use of prompts. I got to understand the use of prompts and I started using the appropriate prompts to generate good content. And when I started doing that, people started buying. Normally, people that would just look at my status because my um, my major marketing um, place for now is WhatsApp. Most of my customers, they get to order for my product via WhatsApp. So with my with the idea of prompts that I was I learned during that class, I was able to generate good content for my business and sales. I started making sales. And apart from that, because I'm also a teacher, there are times yeah. that I want to I want to um, you know get a particular drawing, probably a teaching aid for my students. And I'm just because I'm unable to draw, I won't be able to bring out what I yeah. want to, you know, in drawing um, in pictures yeah. to explain to my children. But with the use of AI, I've been able to put whatever idea I have in my head into pictures for my, for my pupils. Then apart from that, I've also been able to make, to grow my page in that before now, my page used to be very boring because of lack of content. Yeah. But after the class, I've been able to, you know, put up, so many content on my page that helped me to be a bit consistent in putting um, content for my page. Then I have also learned to write good stories because Madam to, uh, Ms. Tolu, she taught us how to generate story through the use of story bed. So I'm able to generate stories then Okay, apart from that, okay, yeah, I talked about yeah. it. I, I, I get that. Story, yeah. And, and we, for someone like you as a teacher, using that um, tool can help you so much in crafting great stories for your students. Honestly, yes. I don't know if there are teachers here. If, if there's any teacher here, just drop a comment. Say, just type, I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher. Just type, I'm a teacher. And then, uh, Ms. Tolu, please, can you... Uh, okay, Ms. Tolu will, will share with us the link that she's actually talking about now. That particular artificial intelligence tool will be able to create um, stories for you with pictures. Like you yeah. can write yeah. your own stories with pictures if you want to animate them. Azaya, you can actually do one that teach your students, create these pictures your, yourself. Anyway, let me leave that part. That's not my duty. You will learn about all these things practically <laughs> very soon. So uh, I will go. I think we, we, need, to, we need to get um, Debbie to share with okay. us quickly. All right, Debbie or Chris, um, Debbie is, um, okay, she just stepped out here. So let me get uh, Debbie to join us to uh, share with us quickly her own experience. We have two minutes each um, to share our experiences. Debbie, can we hear from you? Okay, um, Debbie seems to be having a network challenge. So Victoria, we are coming up now. Victoria, can we hear from you, Victoria? All right. Good All evening right. once more. Can I be heard, please? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear and see your beautiful uh, face. Can All you, right. Can fantastic. <laughs> All right. Good evening, everyone. Once more, my name is Victoria Edozi, and by God's grace, I am a voiceover artist or a voiceover talent, as um, some people refer to it as. So um, what we do um, generally is to use our voices as voiceover actors or voiceover talents or voiceover artists to improve the, the brands and businesses of um, people. Yeah. So um, how did I get to know about AI exactly? Okay. So I studied um, library and information science. So generally AI, the term AI, artificial intelligence has not or is not a new term 
for or yeah. for my course of study yeah so um fast forward to 2018 i took just as i was in my it i was serving i was in my it in 2018 i decided to take a course in digital marketing which changed my narrative generally now if you're very familiar with digital marketing you would know that um, digital marketing is a wide course yeah so i decided to niche down to content writing and then i stumbled into a whole new world of um um, knowledge about content creation and content writing. So I just finished serving. I'm just cutting the whole story short because I have limited time, please. I would have loved to share more and more, but I hope you pick something for my story. And um, as I, I hope you're also not mistaking my voice or confusing my voice. All right. So fast forward to 2018, I took a course in digital marketing and it helped me real good. All right. So um, in 2020, 2023, I just passed out as a serving core member and in 2022 that was last year i discovered the power of my voice and then i decided to launch into the world of voiceovers and it has been a journey a journey a very very wonderful journey all right so um how has ai helped me ai helped me yeah now um recall that i told you i had just shared with you my two stories of being a voice actor and a digital marketer so currently I work as a digital marketer and I'm also a voiceover talent, yeah? So what it helps me, it, what it helped me do, it helps, it has helped me do as a digital marketer is to create content. I told you I niche down totally to content in, as, and it has to do with digital marketing. So I, I work for businesses and brands in improving their content. And trust me, um, um, Mr. Sylvester, I think um, he was the one that opened our eyes to um, the power of AI tools. And that is in addition to what I had learned previously. And it has been a journey. Like if you know about digital marketing, yeah, you would know the stress it takes to create content, to manage people's accounts, to create a lot of graphics and everything. But with AI tools, it's as easy as ABC. <laughs> yes, I could use um, um, judges GTP to create my content. I could use other tools like Remini, which I hope he shares with you guys to create my graphics and on Canva to create my tools. What a fantastic tool is. Even as a voiceover actor that I am, I could also use, I also, I'm also able to use my voice to create, generate, I could, that is, if you want, we could use, of course, you know that they are automated voices, but there are people exactly. who, who also love their voices that part, natural. Automated yes. voices. Because yeah, you are not yeah. the only one that had the very sweet yes, voice. Yes, of course. <laughs> so let me hey, just stop I here. I think my minutes are off. <laughs> yes. yes, please. So for AI, I don't know. I posted on my Facebook today that everyone should key into AI because AI is not there to take up your responsibility or your jobs, but it's there to make okay. things easier for you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the privilege. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Victoria. Please, why why are my why are those watching not even clapping? Let's see your digital hands now. Please share Agogo up. Agogo has just shared her story, and uh, uh, Victoria has also just shared her story. Please let's encourage them by just putting some comments there to appreciate them. If you are watching on Facebook or you are watching on YouTube, just type thank you so much, clap for them with your digital hands, and encourage them. So very quickly, I'm bringing. Um, Christabel and Debbie on board. Christabel, um, can we, how are you, Christabel? Can you share with us your experience? What do you do with AI and how has it impacted you? Okay, I'm um, sorry. AI has actually helped me a lot. I remember um, using Canva. I learned about Canva in um, 2020 during the COVID. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me first introduce myself. I'm Krista Bewonu, and I'm the studio officer, a media officer of Admiralty University of Nigeria. And my job is practically to do graphic design, photography, videography for the school, to publicize the school, creating of content and all that. So when I got a job in 2021, I actually preferred CorelDRAW than Canva because I, even when I knew about Canva in 2020, I really didn't show much interest till I got a job. Then I, when I got this job, my boss would tell me, and Christabel, do this design and prepare by the end of the day. 
I was like, how, how will I do how many designs for posting by the end of the day? It was not possible with Canva for me, um, for CorelDRAW. But then I had to go back to Canva. When I knew how easy it was, I could just look for a template and design it the way I want to. The only time that it, it took for me was actually looking for the perfect template. But after then, it just goes easily. Then should I come to um, PowerPoint presentations? Then I found out of Slide AI. If you know Slide AI, you will know that you will finish your presentation in less than two minutes. It's just for you to take your script, put it in Slide AI, and boom, your, script, your PowerPoint is ready. And it doesn't just give you just what you gave it, like your script. It actually brings out the power in the point for you. So that is what, what like AI helps you a lot. AI brought out brought out more productivity in me. It's it's um it brought out effectiveness. Like I could settle down in few minutes. In like once I've prepared even my memos. If you've heard of Quillbots, I can use my summarize. I can summarize my memo or whatever it is. I can rephrase it. I might just have the idea. I've never been the type that like writing. So if I have the idea, I can put it down, ChatGPT craft it for me. I take it to my Quillbot, Quillbot rephrase and summarize it for me. And my memo is ready, like, just like that. Within a second, like, it's already ready. So AI is not actually meant to take your job away. AI is supposed to assist you to be more productive. So I really, really hope that you all are able to grab it and make use of it. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much, Christabel. Thank you so much, uh, Victoria. Thank you so much, um, Akogo. And right now, I want to acknowledge that um, Chris Abel, she she didn't give details, but <laughs> I can I, I I if I if I should describe how AI has actually affect her, affected her job or impacted her job, it it would it would marvel you. I know I know she's always she always prefers to be backstage doing the ushering job, but how many of you are happy to see her face today? So she she's finally sharing her story. Even tomorrow, she she has to she she will be teaching um, AI tools, teaching how to use Canva somewhere in Delta States tomorrow. So um, going forward, let's bring up um, Debbie on stage. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. We noticed you were having a little challenge with your network. Sorry about that. Debbie, good evening. Hello, Debbie, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Sorry, my, my mic was muted. I just unmuted it now. Oh, that's great. We can hear you now. Debbie, please go ahead and share with us the many sides of you. You are a prompt engineer and you do wonders with, with AI. Let's hear all these things. <laughs> Um, at a point, we are going to really look at the ethical implications of all these and how we use these things. But for now, let's just hear how you use these tools, how they impact you, how you learned about it, what you think about it. Just share your story to inspire someone. Uh, all right. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Uh, a big thank you to the organizers. <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad to be here. So um, quickly... AI has actually impacted me in so many ways, so many ways, but I'm not going to bore you out with all that. So I started out researching on AI, I think that was in December 2021, yes. But then the advent of uh, ChatGPT this year only boosted my zeal to want to learn more about AI and AI tools. Uh, personally, I've actually... Um, experimented over 150 AI tools in the past month. And trust me, it's been amazing. It's been really amazing. Um, I 
I didn't know that I could be this creative, but with AI tools, I've actually discovered some amazing and creative aspect of myself. Um, so recently, I think that was like two weeks ago, I started um, I started researching on some free AI tools that I can use to make marketing videos. And I stumbled upon one, it's called Lumen5. And Lumen5, it's, it's, it's everything I've always wanted in an AI tool. You know, the fact that it's free, although it has its uh, premium section, but I don't know how I've been able to do it, but I've been able to be using the free side of it uh, for some time now, and I've been able to monetize it as well. I actually been rubbing my hands with tools and many AI tools that I use for my graphics. I used to automate my post. I, I used to, to create music, to create sounds, you know, you have to create sounds for your marketing videos so you don't get brushed up with copyrights and all that. So I have some that I use to create my sounds. I have some that I use to learn. I have some that I use to research. But Lumen5 is actually one of kind of like the best for me. The fact that it's actually free. It's like, it's everything. I think you guys should just go try it out. Find your way around it and I... Trust me, you will love it. You will love it. So that's that for Lumen5. And then the one, the other one that I use mostly is called Ideogram. Ideogram is, is uh, I don't know how to describe Ideogram. Whoever came up with the idea of Ideogram is a genius because Ideogram has really helped me a lot. Considering the kind of jobs that I do, being able to use Ideogram and I kind of like monetize Ideogram sometimes, you know, I go to freelancing platforms to offer to do graphics, you know, modern logos and all that. Personally, me, I don't know anything about graphics and modern logo, but with the aid of Ideogram and ChatGPT and some tweaking and prompts, I've been able to use it to create logos or businesses, um, one of the freelancing platforms I use is Upwork and uh, what's it called again? Work Noble. So I use them sometimes. And then I use ChatGPT to learn, to learn. I use it to learn how to program, how to code. It's just a, just a few tweaking in the prompts and you're good to go with ChatGPT, with learning anything you want to learn with ChatGPT. So I'm going to stop here, but I'm going to give like a kind of like a bonus, a bonus prompt, this as a prompt engineer that I am, you know. So um, if you're a business owner out here or you have anything you're doing, this is just like right. a basic prompt. Uh, I'm Debbie. Can you hold? <laughs> yes. Okay. Please, I want to advise them. You are about to give a bonus. So... For those of you who are typing, if you have a notepad or something, I believe they need to take it down, right? Yes, yes, exactly. Okay, I just all right. So, uh, repeat, just repeat. Okay. Okay. So you can, whether if it's ChatGPT you want to use, if it's a uh, bad or Bing, but I would suggest you use ChatGPT. So just enter the prompt. You're into, let me take, for instance, you're into HR, you are a HR uh, this thing. So you just type, I'm into HR. How can I integrate uh, this thing, AI, into my business? But first, you have to make the uh, charge, you have to make it feel itself a little bit. So tell it like you're a business. Okay. Can everyone hear me? I'm kind of like feeling like I'm echoing back, sir. We can hear you. We can hear you. We can hear you. Hello, Debbie. Hello? We can hear you. Hello? All right, so <laughs> let me just stop there before later we'll come and disturb me again. <laughs> All right, so that's just go to chat GPT, go to Bing, you know, type All the right. business you're into or whatever you are into and tell it to suggest ways that you can integrate AI into your business. I think that's just it. Okay, okay, thank you so much. I'm not seeing anybody putting their hands together to clap for Debbie. Put your hands together for Debbie, your digital hands, I mean, actually. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Debbie, what I promise you, I promise you after now, <clears throat> there's going to be loads of 
um, prompts for creating images, for creating for chat GPT and all that. We'll tell you how to get all these um, resources um, very shortly. So at this moment, I would like to bring up uh, Mrs. Tolu. So Lou is going to be anchoring the next session. Uh, but first of all, I want us to, everyone here, to quickly say a huge thank you to these wonderful people here. I want us to okay. say thank you to um, to Debbie. Can you just show your video again and let everyone let everyone see you? Please, we want to appreciate you. Let them say thank you for for you spending time here with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, thank so, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank this round of section with you, and we want to say thank you. Thank you so much for finding our time to share these thoughts with us. There are a lot of other people here who want to share. We've spent about 30 minutes so far, and we have 30 more minutes to go. We want to ensure to keep the time. So over to you now. So um, can you just step backstage um, while I bring up uh, others? Thank you so much. So, uh, um, yes, this is Tolu is live. Thank you so much, Mrs. Tolu, for being here. Tolu, good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> All can right. you hear me? It's good to have you here, Tolu. Um, Tolu will be anchoring the next session. She will introduce the next set of um, uh, panelists, and then she will coordinate that session. I would like to also give you a hint. Tolu will be doing some demonstration about how to use um, AI. So please just get glued to your screen. She's going to be teaching us all this. And before I forget, don't forget, I said that this particular workshop, um, this particular webinar we are having is a pre-training webinar. This is a pre-training webinar. And it is the, the training we are actually holding very soon. is starting on Friday. So um, we would like to let you know that registration is still open for that training, all right? So um, the ushers will drop the registration link in the chat section. And this is the particular training we are talking about, how you can monetize AI, AI tools, how you can get profits from all these tools, how you can actually cash out from them. So, Mr. Tolu, the floor is yours, please. Is Tolu there? Hello? Okay. Tolu is not here right now, but, but while Tolu is trying to come on board, Hello. I'm going to assist her to bring Madam Ramatu Haliru. Madam Ramatu Hello. Haliru. Oh, damn it. Also, we are bringing up um, Henry. We are also bringing up Andrew. Andrew is not on stage, on the backstage right now. So, uh, Tolu, please, over to you, please, Tolu. Um, mm -hmm. The next session is yours to anchor. Hello, Tolu. Please help us Hello, let Marcos you. Help us let Marcos and um, Andrew to know that we need them on stage right now. Yes, Andrew, you're welcome. Okay, so because Tony is having uh, Madam Rama, uh, Madam Rama, Andrew, it seems your mic is echoing. Your mic is echoing. Hello, Madam Ramatu. Are you with us? Please yes. unmute your mic. Yes, I'm with you, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. You are highly welcome. Uh, pardon me. Uh, Tolu was supposed to anchor this session, but you are my person. You are a very wonderful my person. <laughs> and I'm excited <laughs> to have you on this platform again. Madam Ramatu is a practicing librarian at uh, Arewa House Library. 
she's a wikipedian she's she she does a lot with creating content on what that you see on wikipedia every one of us we go there to research but she's among those who go go um, beyond limits to put out content right there and we appreciate you for what you do ma god bless you she's a wonderful mother too so we are excited to have you here madam so very quickly can you share with us what are your thoughts and take on artificial intelligence what would you have to share with those that are viewing this stream right now about artificial intelligence how you learned about it and um, what it's how it has impacted your work over to you ma well uh, good evening everyone and uh, this is an opportunity for you to learn the what is going on in our society today uh, my journey of uh, artificial intelligence revolution started this year, May. Somebody was just telling me about the latest in Bing and ChatGPT. I was just, ah, I went, I read about it, but I did not really understand it much. So thank you to Mr. Sivanus and uh, NLA or your state branch. They hosted an online, an online program on AI, which I joined. And I have an insight what AI is and how it can really help me as, as a librarian, a researcher, and a Wikipedia editor. Then the last uh, program of Mr. Sivanus, I participated, which I learned a lot on how to use it practically. Presently, AI has really is all my affairs in terms of my research, because I'm an academic librarian, which I do, I do research much. I mean to research a lot, especially about uh, information, information's behavior of so many people. So it has, has really helped me on that. Also in terms of creating a PowerPoint presentation for my presentation, then in terms of my Wikipedia editing, it has really helped me because on then, because on then I use the, I use most time I use the, tele, the Telegram bot, the quick bot, and I use a lot of I I have experience about 15 AI tools, which I have really in all my activities. And I was in a conference, NLA conference, Kaduna, day before yesterday. Somebody presents a paper on AI. Somebody asked him that how they that they believe that AI is here to take our job, which I told them AI only is our affairs. And it makes our job easier, especially with that we are information professional. There are AI that can help you catalog your information. There are AI that can help you advertise your library within the library collection. So it's a new thing for Liberia to embrace AI. Not only librarian, everyone that he has what to do. There are AI tools that will ease your activities, that make it, that will represent your idea more better than you do. And uh, once again, I have limited time, so I'm using this opportunity to thank the organization, uh, the organizer for this opportunity to share our knowledge. And also I urge participants to be part of the next AI class, which is coming on on Friday. So thank you very much for this opportunity. Yeah, thank you so much. Madam Ramatu, as a librarian, you, I'm going to break protocol and ask you a specific question. Please don't mute your mic yet. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. as a librarian, people like you are the people that should bring order in a world of chaos, right? Yes. What do you think about the misuse of artificial intelligence tools? What, what do you think? Because some people recently today, for those who follow me on social media, I made a post, a report um, that was posted by um, Fox News. Fox News... Um, had, there was a particular journal that had published a paper. And in that paper, they didn't notice that the person who, who that paper they published was a work that was created almost, if not entirely, by ChatGPT. Such that the person that made that post and um, submitted that paper, you know, in ChatGPT, you see generate um, response or generate more, something like that. You yes. Know, the whole result, including that term, and posted in the paper. Even the reviewers now, reviewing the work, they did not see that particular term, right? So, on getting to see this later on, 
they had to unpublish that particular work. So, Ma, what do you think is the negative effect of people who use artificial intelligence unethically? Your mic, your mic is mute. Sorry, that's why I said, like uh, those editors, the review of that journal, that is why they are behind because they don't have knowledge of the AI. That is why they could not know that he copied from, direct from the AI. Mm. Secondly, as, as a professional that is trying to, that is trying to pro protect his dignity, mm. you are not supposed to use AI just to copy. Mm. You, are to use, you are to use the AI to ease your work. AI guide me on my writing, know that I'll just go there, paste, then copy direct and do my work. If I have an idea, I don't know, maybe I don't know how to create my literature review. I can just tell AI, I'm writing on this. How can I write my literature review? So it gives me headings. From there, I do my research and continue from there. So I think those, uh, those people, because everyone now is trying to share knowledge on AI, when you go online now, people are just collecting people's money on how exactly. they can use AI. So those yeah. people, teaching people AI, the first thing they have to do, teach those people policies and guidelines exactly. on how to use AI rightly. Exactly. Just like with the Wikipedia editor, before we teach you how to edit Wikipedia, we must tell you these are the guiding rules and principles that you have to follow before you edit. So also, since we are in revolution of AI, the AI teachers are able to educate the people about the guidelines and the policy that goes before using an AI. We should know that the, the, uh, the general world is eyes on us in, uh, in Africa, especially in Nigeria. We like doing negative things. We shouldn't, mm. allow, we shouldn't use AI negatively. We should look at the positive side of it. So that's yeah. what I have to say on this, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for standing in for librarians. So I'm going to uh, take you backstage so that we can have uh, 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 Andrew to share with us um, briefly. Andrew, over to you, please. All right, sir. Can you, can you hear me, sir? Yes, please share with us your experience. Tell us about how technology, Imagine Technologies is revolutionizing the work that you do. All right. I want to, first of all, sincerely appreciate the organizers and fellow fa the fa facilitators of this Great event, Sylvester. Thank you very much for the great opportunity. I really don't take it for granted. Okay. Then also to everybody listening and participating, it's a great privilege because the meeting wouldn't hold if not for you and if not for the organizer. So I want to really appreciate everyone. Trust me, your time is not being wasted. So quickly, because of time, AI, AI revolution, AI is really something that has been of great benefit to everyone who has taken its time, is our time to really be, be informed about it. And trust me, you know, there is this, uh, there was a time where the whole fear, there was a whole window of fear that was saying that AI has come to disemploy, like uh, unemployed, make unemployed majority of persons who have been, who are already unemployed and like that and stuff like that. But trust me, that was not true. First of all, my, for me personally, my AI journey began in 2020, precisely, when I think that around that period, I was actually into graphic design. I'm into first, okay, sorry that I didn't introduce myself properly. I'm Idafibu Mbonivi, Andrew, CEO of Adu Actors, and what we do, we're actually into web development, graphic design, social media management, social media promotion, and branding, and all of that. But, then, like I was saying, my AI journey began in 2020. Yeah, actually, I began growing my brand and all of that. And work was not really easy based on high demand from here, there. So, you know, my human being, we always look for a shortcut to everything. And, you know, everybody wants to get, like, just find a way to get, get around many things like that. Yeah, and I was one of those such persons. And I'm, I'm still one of such persons because it's really not about hard work. It's about smart work, actually. 
and then yeah i stumbled about as, because then i really was working on some certain videos for youtubers like that and you know most of them will tell you that they want a video for their youtube but they actually want them to like it just, just look for a way around it to make a video for them most times they want to do a voiceover for it and they want their picture to be there and all of that so i just had to start looking for a way and i think i stumbled upon an ai tool I think it's hygiene, hygiene.com like that. And yeah, it's really, hygiene.com, it's one AI tool that really makes video creation. For example, if most especially for YouTube, uh, video content creators, educators, and all of that, hygiene.com, it's one great tool that you will really love to work with. Although there is premium, but then you can get your way around it because there are some services like, there are some bonuses. You can create videos, I think, uh, once every day like that for free if prevention you don't want to subscribe to the premium and aside that too i for coders like me who are into web development there are some things really i don't really like sitting down to probably write a script about i use codium.com codium.com trust me it's one thing you really it I, I generally just makes the work easier it makes your work smarter it makes your work like really presentable it makes it work yeah. really presentable then yes for graphic designers there are many things there are many ai tools if i begin to list i don't think i will i will be able to list them all because for a graphic designer you need you need to be creative you need to you need to explore so most times if you want to for content like all those kind of uh uh, catch it up, like stuff like that. Yeah, to, you just need to explain, okay, I want, like, chatbots is one of the tools I use majorly. So most times I would just go there, I would just be like, okay, I would just try and explain what I want and it would just, you know, it would give you that prompt that you need and just carry it. Sometimes you do a little touch of editing, you carry it, you put it on courage or cover, so like, you wow. Mean, you I mean, God of God, you, you mean you are not consulting oracles to do your, your graphic works, right? <laughs> I, I something you like that, you know. <laughs> Oracle, before you design this uh, flyer for us, gentlemen and ladies watching, ah, I can't I who actually I, designed this flyer. He designed this flyer you are seeing right now on your screen, and uh, he's, a, he's an amazing guy. <laughs> so, uh, um, okay, thank you. thank you so much, Andrew. Um, so, Lou is back, stay, is, is back on stage, and now she's live. Uh, Madam Tulu. Sorry about the internet challenges that you are having over there. Madam Tolu, you are live. Okay. Madam Tolu, we can hear you. Evening, can, can you go evening. ahead? Yes, please just speak to us. Thank you. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm already getting worked up. So sorry about this. It's okay. It's okay. Good Just go, go ahead. Good evening, everybody. Um, can you hear me? You can hear me, please. Affirm. I'm not. I'm not. We can hear you. We can hear here. you. We can hear you. Tolu, we can hear you. Please go ahead. Okay. Um, so loose network has freezed again. Please help me let Organel Yuma to know that he's coming up live so he can anchor the next session. Um, the next session will be anchored by Organel Yuma. Organel Yuma is <laughs> he is the real digital. Guys, get ready for this next panel. This next panel, I, we save the best for the last. If you are watching this right now, maybe I should remind everybody. We save the best panel, like for the last. So if you are watching right now, ah, uh, let me play this right now. Share, share this video. Share, 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 share. Like this video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, subscribe to the Facebook page or like the Facebook page. Just follow because um, uh, Mr. Victor um, Oluwatosin and mr solomon they are going to share 
very wonderful insights with us right now. Very wonderful insights. And uh, Olua Tosin is someone I know who is skilled and knows about the future of technology. So he will give us real insight. So Oyoma, please try to give them some little time to please uh, share with us what they know. Thank you so, so very much. Yoma, over to you, please. Okay. Hello, hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depends on where you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depends on where you are listening to me from. I am Ure Feogenema Victor. And yes. Let me start with this. A good day is a quiet day, and AI is, AI is sure to give you a good day. All right. So, without much ado, let's quickly uh, have our, our panelists on board so that we can rub minds together and have an extensive discussion on AI. Know it and share it. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. I am really forgetting to you, my Victor, once again. So, sir, I don't want to do too much talk. What have you used AI for? How has AI contributed to your professional, personal, and uh, career growth? Okay, um, a very good evening to everyone. I'm sure you can hear me. Perfectly, sir. All right, fantastic. Okay, um, I call Bill Lotus and Daniel, it's my name. I'm, I'm a lecturer, I'm an AI librarian, uh, I'm a research expert, and of course, an AI enthusiast. Okay. Um, I'm just going to speak. I've used AI for so many things. So I'm just going to focus on why right now because of the time at my disposal. Okay. I'm going to talk about research. Okay. Research writing. Okay. Um, we, 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 I don't really talk much. Okay. Okay. The thing is, there is still a lot that is still unfolding. Okay in the area in the space of artificial intelligence and using ai to for research the journey has been interesting okay um personally what 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 i actually do i i because i'm a very curious individual so i use a combination of ai tools and actually usually get the best for for myself okay uh, I'm, actually, I'm actually going to talk about um using good prompts okay generating prompts for your research. I keep saying it and I'll keep saying it. Um, AI is actually here to improve our creativity, okay? And not replace our creativity. So what AI actually does is to enhance whatever it is we have already, okay? So before you go into your research, all right, you, you know what your problem um, statement is, you know what you want to solve. So you just want to put together um, articles want to put together submissions that will drive on that particular point or that will provide solutions to the problems you've identified. So the big question is, how do you now go about these things? Okay, now this is where AI come into play. All right, so sometimes I use a combination of um, research rabbit. I use chat GPT. It's my co-researcher, uh, my virtual researcher. So I use QBot, okay? I use Grammarly, I use Zotero. So sometimes I use a combination of, of some of these uh, um, AI tools, and it has been amazing. I can tell you that for free. Okay, so submissions I get from from these um, AI tools that actually help to 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 give uh, give me good content. Okay, good content, current um, content, and um, um, driving home the particular point at which I, I'm actually um, looking for. Okay, so I, I the, the thing is we we. One can only tell his own story by him or herself. But what, what AI can actually do for you is to help enhance your story. Okay, so I have the the the, the kind of the problem, um, the research problem in my head actually, and I want to put it down in writing. Okay, so I have these puzzles and the pieces scattered in my head, but I need someone to help me to to harmonize these puzzles and then put it down in writing. This is where Chat GPT comes in. Okay, so there are some other prompts, okay, in between, all right? There are so many things Chat, Chat GPT has actually helped me to actually achieve, all right? We'll be shocked that Chat GPT can actually summarize, summar, summarize uh, a 
pages work into three paragraphs. Interestingly, I am not going to miss the content, but the thing is there are ethical ways of to actually use all of these things. I think maybe some other time, uh, Mr. Sylvester will give us opportunity um, to talk about such areas, which is very, very key, which is very, very important. Okay, so now I I actually use also ChatGPT and then commission of Qbot, all right, and Grammarly. Okay, so using all of these AI uh, tools uh, together has actually made my submissions very, very interesting. Actually made my submissions uh, uh, very, very, um, what is that word right now? Very, very uh, direct, okay? And hitting the particular problem statement that has been created, okay? So preferring solutions. So the thing is, AI tools actually have actually come to stay. Okay, and for the fact that they are here with us, the fact that they are here with us, they are not here to actually replace humans. They will not replace humans. Okay, humans in quote, those who have actually decided to obscure and then um, pull along together with themselves, um, these AI tools. Okay, definitely some persons will be will be will be pushed to the backstage, but but that is just that is just that is just it. Okay, wow. so AI AI will not replace humans because AI cannot on its own think, okay? So everything is in our head, all right? So we are actually bringing out the thoughts, okay? And AI is just there to help us enhance, to help us uh, um, um, exaggerate, as it's where, let me use that word, to help us exaggerate whatever it is we have in our head. So in research writing, it has been awesome. I'm still trying some other tools, and I'm not going to end trying some other tools. I'll keep trying some other tools. So the more they come, the more I keep trying. So that just, that's that's been my story. Wow, thank you so very much. It's an interesting one. As one into research also, I, I find what you, you uh, said interesting. is there to enhance your story. You know, you give it a storyline, you give it a correct storyline, it will give you a correct answer. Thank you so very much. I want to invite Mr. Sylvester quickly to uh, come in to say one or two words, then we'll continue the session, please. Okay, thank you very much, Oyoma. I... I had to come on board because uh, Mrs. Tolu was to do a practice. Sorry, I can't, I can't hear you. Oh, can you hear me now? Um, Yoma, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can hear you perfectly well. Okay. I said I was, uh, Mrs. Tolu was supposed to come and do a practical demonstration, but um, the network is not letting her do that. I can see um, Solomon, you are live. Good evening, Solomon. Good, e Good evening, sir. Okay, it's good to have you here. I told I told these people, I said, no, it's exactly one hour now since we've been live. We were supposed to end this thing just one hour. So, but because we had promised that we were going to do a little demonstration, so it's not going to just be about talk. I want to quickly, before we um, hear from you, Mr. Solomon and Tosin, we're also going to, um, Yoma is going to come back to you to, to get um, some concluding statements. So please just hang on. I need to do a five minutes demonstration to show these people that <laughs> this thing is actually not as difficult as some people make it um, to seem. Um, so I'm going to do a demonstration uh, <clears throat> right now. So permit me to quickly share my screen. I'm going to be sharing my screen, but what I want to show you is uh, what people call it generative AI, generative AI images. They, uh, you can use this, they are images that are generated or created um, with uh, AI. And you can actually use these images for content creation. You can use them for um, fashion uh, content publicity, or you can use them for architecture and interior design because there are some tools. During the masterclass that we'll be holding next week, Tolu will be showing you how to get interior designs architectural designs, those um, autocads that you do. AI can now give you great architectural structures for those, even storytelling with the images you are going to create. I'm going to show you now. You can create images uh, for storytelling, data visualization, and um, also for, um, for marketing. So, but I'm just going to quit all that grammar right now, and I will quickly describe how to do that for you. So quickly, I'm sharing my screen right now. 
um, which window am I sharing now? Okay. I'm sharing my screen right now. Okay. So, um, Yoma, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen very well. Okay. So, please, can somebody just put in the comment section, or let me put it in the comment section, the link I'm sharing right now is clipdrop.co. I'm typing it in the comment section. to generate AI images. Don't forget, like I said, you can share this video with anyone right now. So I'm going back to my stream. So where we are right now is Stable Diffusion Excel, Clip Drop by Stability.ai. With Clip, Clip Drop can actually do a lot, but because this is not a workshop, we are actually not here to discuss or demonstrate practically how to do these things. I just want to show these because there might be some people who have been hearing about AI images but did not know what it means. So when you get to an uh, AI tool that generates image, for example, what you need to do is prompt that AI tool very well. So I'm going to zoom into my screen and then uh, I'm going to try. If you scroll down, you'll see a prompt here that says B flying out of a glass jar in a green and red leafy basket. Glass and all right. So, right now, trust me, there's no idea on my head right now. So, I'm just going to type anything. Um, image, or I can use some keywords that will make it look real. Show real image of a of a lab scientist in the middle of the lonely in the busy in the busy uh, Osho the streets in Lagos guys just take note um, I didn't I didn't prepare for this I wasn't supposed to do any of all this but I'm just trying to do something that we can very relate with and what I want you to know is the image you will see from here is not available anywhere else in the world. AI generates this image for you. So take note of my prompt that I'm using here. So I'll click on generate. So it takes a little moment and AI begins to do the work. It's trying to search through a large database. It's trying to search the internet for such keywords see you can see 72 images waiting to be processed it's trying to look for how images that looks like osho the lagos and trying to bring them together to describe what i want so this is what it does so doing this has helped to revolutionize the work i keep using that word because i can now bring my imaginations to life guys can you see what i am seeing on the screen right now this picture you are seeing is not available anywhere else in the world. I can even decide anyway, I don't want to say so much, but I can tell you how to make money, like real money from all these tools. Anyway, let me just save that and show you um, the images we got. Now, this is the first image we got. But first of all, let's see your comments. What do you think about the image? I'm going to share, show you all the images now for you to choose. This is the first image. This is the second image of that particular lab <laughs> scientist in the middle of a Lagos street. Also, this is another image we got, but it doesn't really depict what I wanted. Now, this is another lab scientist with all his equipment in the middle of a busy African street. So for me, I'm choosing this first one. I think I like this first one. 
but I don't know. What about you? Oh, no. I changed my mind. I'm choosing the second one. I love the second photo. So, guys, let me know in the comment section which of the photos... Let me see your comments, please. Which of the photos do you think depicts better the prompts we used? Please let me know. So, for instance, if I, I, I love this particular image. I can just click on download and I have that image downloaded to my device. So this is just basically how uh, generative AI work. Let me know, is it image one, image two, image three, image four? Let me know which one do you think works for you. AI is really fascinating. Thank you. Thank you. I see your messages. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not seeing your comments. Please let me know which of the images you like. Didi says the first one. Thank you. Thank you. Just drop your comments for me. It's going to help me get to the next phase. So something else I'm going to do right now before I hand over to Yoma is this. I want to quickly share with us um, what we are seeing on the screen right now. We are organizing an event on Friday, and I want to show you how to register for that event, Mastering and Monetizing AI Tools. At this event, you are going to be learning how to transform your ideas into business assets from idea to money you are going to learn how to master these ai tools and you're going to be learning how to use these ai tools ethically now um this particular stream we are having right now should be rounding up any moment from now but then we organize this program to create an awareness to let you know about the ai revolution and let me show you how to register for this particular event I'm sharing my screen once again and want to show you how you can register for this masterclass. All you just need to do is go to, you can see my screen. Uh, you can see my screen. I'm sharing my screen again. Go to your browser, any of your browser, type www.thedigitallibrarian.com forward slash A-I-M. That's A-I Masterclass. Then registration, R-O-E-G. Imreg. So if you type that, you can just click on it. And once you do that, the portal for you to register will show up on your screen. I'm just going to show you that briefly. Uh, it's taking a little while to load. The digital hyphen librarian, I guess I'm correct. Imreg. It's loading. So once it loads, okay. Um, sorry, my attention has just been drawn that um, there's a comment there. There's a comment there. Is the comment still there? Okay. Sorry about that. So once you, you click on your website or your browser or your phone, this is what we show. It gives you an overview of what this program is. It's a three-day practical session on how you can master and monetize AI tools. And we are looking, we currently in our wait list, we have over 100 people who have indicated interest already. They are waiting in that group right now for this training holding on Friday. Now, this training is not a free training. However, we are planning to give sponsorship to a few persons who will grab that opportunity. The, the link to, to get the sponsorship will be shared also for you. How, and also, this is the price for the training. The training uh, for the master pack where you are going to get access to mentorship, one-on-one -on -one mentorship till you know it. Those of you who have attended my training before and you know that now that I'm getting facilitators on board us, you are going to be learning from them. 
and they will be giving you their full time to mentor you in this training. So all you need to do is check the different pack that you want. If you want the standard pack or you want the premium pack, you just scroll down and then you click on register now. Immediately you click on register now, you see your first name, you enter your first name there, and then you put your phone number and your email address. You, you let us know if you are a student or if you're an administrator, you let us know if your, your, your level of AI, you let us know what your expectations are for the event. And then you choose the option that you would like to pay for. This is the account details to make your payment. Immediately you make payment for this uh, event, you click on the submit button. Guys, immediately you click on submit button, it redirects you into the wait list, the official wait list for this um, uh, particular masterclass. So uh, at this point, I'm going to stop right here now. As you can see, it redirects you to the wait list. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen right now and hand over to Oyoma. Please check all the comment section and then you will see all the information that you need to register for this program. So, Yoma, over to you. Let us hear from Mr. Solomon before we round up this live stream. Wow. The, that, that's uh, so much information in few minutes. Thank you so very much. Now, I, I want to ask generally, before Mr. Solomon gives his own idea, how he has been able to you know, influence his decision, let's put it in two minutes. Can we actually say, is AI deceptive? Well, let's keep that aside. Mr. Uh, Mr. Tosin will give us his own view on that. Then uh, my other brother will give us his own view on that. Then that's what, what that's what we'll round up with. So um, can you please give us, how has AI enhanced your growth, business, career, and otherwise? Good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Can, can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly well. All right. Um, so good to talk about AI this evening. And <clears throat> for now, AI is now the campfire around which we share our stories, you know. And here is my story. It's in two phases, actually. My life as a librarian, because I'm an academic librarian, and I work in an university library. And then my life as a music composer. OK, I'm going to share how AI has actually touched. I use AI tools to do a lot of things, but then I will restrict for the sake of this um, this uh, webinar, I'm going to restrict it to these two phases. All right, as a librarian, we know that library is, is not just a shrine where we worship, where books are worshiped. Neither is it a temple where we have literary devotion. It's actually a place where ideas are birthed, you know. So um, in my routine work as a librarian, I use AI actually, you know, I explore things. I've been a, I've been a librarian who is interested in IT, who is interested in, in trendy things, how technology can enhance my work. And then AI, is a, AI has helped me in many ways. I'll just go straight to the point. AI, has, AI, normally technology has actually made my work faster, but AI has made the work you know, using a contemporary uh, word has made it soft, smart and smooth, you know. So uh, in cataloging, for instance, for some of us who are librarians who are here, some of us who do what we call copy cataloging because of technology. But now with AI, I think the amount of time, the, sec the minutes we think we spend in doing copy cataloging, we can actually use seconds to spend in that cataloging because sometimes some of us who know Library of Congress website and some other sites where we do those things, we know that um, it's not, it doesn't really, you have to search through, but using chat GPT alone can actually bring everything you need immediately. Once you prompt it, it brings it out with your callback and everything, even to cutter for a, a name or something. So I'm sorry, I'm using these terminologies for the, but those who are in the field will understand what I mean by that. So in collection development too, it's actually helping because I recently, we had a verification in my school, and one of the things I used, you know, to get current books, I mean, books that are okay within the each views of like not seeing public health, I had to use AI, ChatGPT. It listed some books, and we actually included it in the, 
in the purchase. Doing it when NUC came, these are the books they were pointing, they were calling. Where is, where is this book? Where is this book? These are the books that ChatGPT book actually brought out for me when I prompted it, both locally, local authors and international authors. Okay, so uh, let me not talk much on it. So in book select, in collection development, book selection and like evaluation, ChatGPT, for example, does more work to that. Uh, bad tools can, can actually help her, but ChatGPT is actually the main tool for that. Once you prompted it well, it will bring us some, it will recommend books for you in each particular field with um, a write-up, a write-up that will make you evaluate the, each book from one um, from the other, one book from the from another. So let me go to the second phase, which is the story of my musical composition, you know, using AI. So I'm a music composer, and by the grace of God, I've composed many songs, I've composed anthem and classical pieces. Not really, I compose more classical choir pieces, you know. So I normally technology we compose to compose a book for composers who are here to compose a piece will take you months because with getting the lyrics getting the musical notes the melody the harmony and then the orchestra part takes you a lot of time but now technology came out um soft some softwares helped us some came out some years ago and have like sibelius helped us in in days you can be done with it but recently i noticed that i have composed like three anthem for institutions using in just and each of them is in i use i don't use up to 24 hours and i composed them both the lyrics the the musical notes i mean the the song itself the melody and the harmony and the orchestra part it will come out just as ai does it in seconds so i think in my conclusion i would say my experience with ai has made me realize that we don't just use ai we co-create with AI. Hence, let us That's not just refer to it as a, as a tool, but as a partner in progress with whom the journey towards smarter and more connected, with whom we can journey towards smarter and more connected future. That's what I want to say. Wow. Thank you very much. Wow. Mr. Solomon said we co-create with AI. So we are co-creators. We can simply call ourselves co-creators of the future. That is really amazing. And he made mention of using uh, AI to help his school get the right books in the library for accreditation. That means you need to pay AI some money to, to tell them thank you so that your school can get their needed accreditation. You know, <laughs> we are in an age where information is limitless. Information is limitless. It's not limited. It's limitless. You can get an information to create bomb or to do, to do nefarious things online. The information are limitless. So therefore, I want us to conclude this session with this question. Just in, in one in 60 seconds, is AI deceptive? Giving a candid and non-sentimental opinion. Is AI deceptive? And how can we know? How can we get wrong? How can we distinguish between a wrong and a right information? In 60 seconds, as academicians, I believe you can. Use 60 seconds to do justice to this. Thank you very much, sir. Mr. Tosin, sir. Okay. Um, well, when you say AI is being deceptive, well, it depends, it depends on the context, though. Because uh, if I'm actually using AI to play poker, for example, I should be I should be trying to outsmart my opponents in play. Am I correct, Mr. Solomon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, so so will you say AI is being deceptive? Because in the real life of play, I should try to outsmart you. Uh -huh. So it depends on the context, okay? So, but when in academic writing, in academic writing, um, um, your prompt, okay, that's why I said earlier when I, I started my discussion, that your prompt, okay, actually determines what you get from AI. Okay, everything you, you AI gives back to you comes from you first. All right. So if AI is being deceptive, then that means you are the one that is being deceptive. All right. That's because, um, <laughs> because you 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 gave it a prompt and it just enhances or aggravates or or or, or promotes what you actually gave it uh, to do. Just like the image um, Mr. Silvestre was trying to create initially, you can see he he he, he was he had to be creative first. Okay, he had to think it through, and then. He laid down the prompt, and then when he generated, 
the um, the 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 AI software just helped him to to bring up to bring up these pictures. So AI doesn't just bring up these pictures on its own, or it doesn't even bring up it, these results on its own. It comes from us first. Okay. So in a nutshell, deception is not for AI. Okay, I will say because we humans are still the 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 one in charge of all of these things and uh, all right perfect i took a word from you sir i took a word from you if you are calling okay. ai a liar you are the first liar <laughs> no you are the first liar definitely <laughs> yes mr solomon please all right um just to add to what my brother said actually ai i can't say AI is deceptive actually because the thing i just have, just to add what he said you know how your whatever that comes out from AI depends on how intelligent and how creative you are, actually. That's what determines what if three of us can actually have to prompt on something, you know, it will not come out the same way because we have a uh, different ways of thinking and once we different ways we create ideas or something. So it actually depends on what you want. I'm not seeing that as actually deceptive. And it's actually on how you use it. How do you use it? How do you prompt it to actually determine what it stands for so somehow it depends on the person's creativity so it's not ai it's wow. actually we humans that can actually be deceptive not ai thank you so very much in other words ai is a mirror image of your intelligence if you are dull Absolutely. you get you get Absolutely. you get dull results Absolutely. AI is a mirror of image of your intelligence that is the key word i'll take from this session thank you very Absolutely. much mr Smith, sir okay everyone thank you thank you i want to say thank you mr tostin <laughs> i see you boss i see you ah my prof i'm happy to have you mr solomon I'm where are sure. the other people let's bring them all thank on board you. madam tolu where is the duke of joss where is the duke of joss engineer charles where are you please come on board let everyone see your beautiful faces come on now eh? It's time for, for, for vote of thanks. It's time for vote of thanks. <laughs> Please, I want to see the comment section bubbling with vote of thanks to, to uh, our wonderful uh, facilitators and panelists. I want you to just say word of thank you to every one of them. Uh, Madam Tolu is here. She will share briefly with you. But before I give the floor to Madam Tolu, can you see what's on your screen now? There is a link in the comment section now. I would like every one of you watching this video, click on the link and create a personalized display picture for yourself. You can use it on your, on your profile picture, one step at a time towards mastering and monetizing artificial intelligence tools. This is the AI revolution conversation. And uh, we've, we've agreed today that we need to know and learn about AI and we need to share what we know. So, as a, as, a, as a step towards sharing this knowledge, let us please create a DP using that link in the comment section and then um, share your, your display picture for us to see. So for those who are requesting for, for sponsorship, um, if the sponsorship slot is just for four people and uh, you will get the information. So uh, over to you, Madam Tolu. Can we hear from you? Hello, everyone. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Can hear you All right. I'm so sorry about the network glitch today. It's been so demoralizing, but I'm happy that I was able to get up here. Um, thank everybody for thank you all for being a part of this program. Thank you for your participation. I was I was watching from backstage, even though I couldn't. Um, the network was giving me a problem, but on, on my devices, I was hearing the testimonies and it's been mind blowing. So um, what I'm going to say, AI is the is the way forward. I remember when computer was a thing, like when it just became a popular thing and you know, some people were not really showing interest. But um, you know, with, as time goes on, we begin to see that if you are not computer literate, you are left behind. AI is the way forward now. And um, as a business owner, as a, a student, as a content creator, whatever it is you are doing, there are always great ways. I've seen, I, I've, I heard testimonies from music composers, teachers, business owners. So there is always a way AI can be of assistance to you. I have a book on it that I was writing prompts that can help different kind of, um, different people in different sectors. So um, 
embrace artificial intelligence. This program that we're having on Friday, this is a three-day event coming up next week Friday. Yeah, next week Friday. And it will be running through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You're welcome, sir. All right. So this event is going to be a very is a, it's going to be a mind-blowing um event because it's going to be opening your eyes to different ways by which you can boost your creativity, how you can use AI to generate amazing content both visual content and um, written content you can how you can use it for development um i mean in the tech world so we'll be learning all of this and it doesn't end there you'll be getting access to resources from the various facilitators of that event you'll be getting um accesses to their resources now we we have two different packages we have the standard pack we have the premium pack so if you are going for the premium pack you go to our go to the um, um landing page you're going to see the details of everything like you are seeing on the screen right now you'll see the details of what you get as if you are going for the three thousand pack or you're going for the premium pack so go there register now and um, let's see you at that event because there is a lot to benefit from those that have, have been a been um, beneficiaries of our previous programs they know how much you benefit now think benefited from that event now consider a synergy of different experts coming together to show you how to create course content, how to create ebooks, how to generate um, images and all that. So these are just a few, and you're going to be getting a certificate. You're going to get a certificate of participation. So these are just a few, or let me say the tip of a nice big things that you're going to be getting from this program. So let us see you here registering right. and um, go together. Okay, it's exactly one hour, 30 minutes, and we have to end this stream right now i don't want us to exceed this time please but please because i'm the duke of just i've been calling out his name i don't know why i didn't see him on stage engineer sir we are happy to have you on friday people are anticipating to learn from you how you do those wonders with ai they want to learn from you so you have like 30 seconds in 30 seconds please um, as you can see, Agogo, it's already saying, I want to appreciate our facilitators for sharing their knowledge with us. Um, the librarian is saying, I appreciate you guys for a job well done. I Isaac or Isaiah is saying thanks to the facilitators. Peter is saying thank you to our facilitators. So um, over to you, the Duke of Jaws. You have 30 seconds before we end. And just to say All something, sir. Right. I, I actually didn't want to say much today because... We're actually preparing for a power pack on Friday. I've been online just that Ethernet network just disappeared for about 10 minutes. Well, just get ready and um, brace up yourself to explore AI. I've been working on AI for the past two years and getting this community and the village to be part of the story is what I've been looking out for to impact knowledge. And so we'll be live on stream on Friday. Those of you that are not yet registered, try and be registered because I have 48 slides, I think about 48 slides on PowerPoint for you. So I uh, hope to see all of you. Uh, thanks to the organizers and to my friends, the co-facilitators. Uh, we're doing very well. So see you on Friday. Uh, my name is Charles David. And he knows me as a Duke of Jones. Thank you very much. Have a blessed okay. evening, brother. All right, don't leave. Oh, don't leave. Don't leave. Just wait. Let's take a, a group photograph. <laughs> so everybody, please, can you do a screenshot? I, I, I'm going to give out a prize to the person that gets this screenshot very well. When you do the screenshot, I need you to share the screenshot oh, with perfecto. us. Okay? I, I'm going to put out a prize. So do well to... I can move into a Eh? I can win. Now, the screenshot so I want you to, to, to take yeah, will be a screenshot of me putting my hand in my head, on my head, right? <laughs> so if you can take that screenshot of my hand in my head with these people, then you will get a very wonderful gift and opportunity. So um, take the screenshots of your screen right now, quickly. Um, these are the organizers for the event, and we hope to see you on Friday. So once again, I want to say thank you for being in this stream with us. God bless you all, and we hope to see you 
very soon, very soon on Friday. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your day. Exactly. Hey. Bye. Uh, Tosin, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Solomon, thank you. Thank you for staying till now. Thank you all. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, time to dance. I can't wait for Friday. Yeah. Can't wait. So if you got to the end of this video, please share it. It will be nice for you to share it. Share it. Share it on Facebook. Share from the Priceless Journal page. Share from the TikTok page. Share from the Digital Librarian YouTube channel. And please subscribe. Like our pages. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Those of you watching now, if you like to leave, you can leave. Me, I'm just going to be here. I'm going to do some dancing. Oh wow. All right, let's see everybody leave the screen. I want to be the last man standing. Ah, let's, let's watch and see. <laughs> Oh yeah, now. <laughs> Just imagine what you will get from the paid session. It will be amazing, guys. Make the payment now. It will be amazing. The promises to be amazing. We're having case studies, guys. Like, case studies. You don't have an option that progress after this uh, class. Okay. You gotta go right now. These Thank are you, everybody. Season is salt and pepper. To be nice, to be spicy. All right. Yes. It was nice hosting this event. <laughs>